that pain is a selective memory. And um, what we're really learning from the Holy Spirit and what we're learning from the Course is that um, memory is an ability that the ego made up. And when there's an experience of pain, you could say that that memory, that ability, has been attached to the past. It's been attached to the timeline. And so it's a selective memory. Uh, it's so common to think of memory in terms of the past. If I just threw out the word memory, for most on planet Earth they would say, well, that's a memory always involves the past. And Jesus is saying in the Course, no, it actually it doesn't. You've just taken an ability that the ego made and you're attaching it to the past, and that's painful. And of course the flip side is it's pleasurable. That he's also teaching us that pain and pleasure are actually both ego uh, devices, different. They seem very different in, in time and space to the sleeping mind, but actually they both reinforce the, the reality of the body. And the body doesn't have a reality. So they're both reinforcers of this linear timeline, and the body is part of this linear construct. At no single instant does the body exist at all. You know, the first time you read that in the Course, it's like, whoa! <laughs> at no single instant does the body exist at all. It is always remembered or anticipated. So, what, we're, what you're asking for, you're asking for a breakthrough, a healing, and you're really, deep down in your heart, you're asking for your calling, you're asking for your function, and ultimately you're asking for a present memory, just like the song that opened up. The present is the gift. And the reason it's the present is because it's, it's a memory, it's the holy instant. It's a memory of God, and it, it is the use of memory unattached to the past. That's why A Course in Miracles is saying you need to get into your function, because through miracle working, we're actually coming to a new form of selective memory, where we're actually focusing our mind on remembering the present, focusing on that, saying, I'm going to give it everything I've got. I'm going to put all my energy, all my effort, all my desire, all my prayer in this present memory. Uh, it's it's going to be a matter of, of desire, that's what the focus is really about. Like the holy instant, Jesus says, you cannot prepare for the holy instant without placing it in the future. So you see in the end we're going to have to give up preparation even. Wow! That's amazing. When we've, our whole spiritual journey has been what about? Preparation. We're preparing ourselves to come in the presence of the Holy of the Holies. And now the Holy of the Holies is speaking to us and saying, Stop preparing. <laughs> you know, that's, that's radical. That's, that's actually saying, I want to go into an experience that is beyond the time, beyond the process, beyond all of that. I want to go right into that experience. So, Pain is always a false perception. Um, you know, when I was going through experiences of pain and discomfort, you know, I would use the Course like an oracle, you know, I would, okay, help me, help me, help me! And I'd pop it open, and it would be like, if God is real, there is no pain. <laughs> and if pain is real, there is no God. And that's the Holy of the Holy speaking, you know? <laughs> What did you say, Mom? No. It's like, no, this, that's the Holy of the Holy, that's the presence of the Lord, showing us that, that really the spiritual journey, coming into the experience, is just giving up compromise. And we can talk about the topic of compromise, because we're used to personal compromise, you know, saying something or doing something that we didn't really want to do. We were talking several days ago, and Michael said, so this whole world, is really compromise. The whole linear package, the whole cosmos is compromise. It is. Mm -hmm. And really, miracles are nothing but the giving up of compromise. How else would you, we come to integrity if we weren't willing to give up compromise? 
admittedly, many of us believe that compromise was a good thing. We were taught in relationships, okay, you're going to have to compromise, you're going to have to take the good with the bad, you're not going to get your way every time, and compromise is a good thing. It's kind of like looking for a compromise in every kind of situation that arises. And then we get to the Course and it says, no, salvation is no compromise of any kind. So the pain is compromise. And we aren't consciously aware of all of the ways we seem to compromise, but if we boiled it down, it would be trying to hold on to a tiny personality self when we were created eternal and perfect is a big compromise. So we go about trying to improve this little personality self. We want better skills, better abilities. If we don't like the little self as a single model, we try to couple it up. We try to pair it off and get a double, you know, and have a couple model in there, but it's a couple, it's still a tiny couple self. Or we do a group self. We join a community and we say, oh now I'm part of this community, but we have a group identity. It's still a small self. It seems the Buddha and Jesus have taught us that anything that we identify with that's less than the wholeness and the love and the spirit that we are is a compromise. And so I would say that that's how you begin to focus is you, you just open up your heart and you say, use me, like St. Francis's prayer, Lord make me an instrument. You start to just give yourself over so fully into this purpose of forgiveness that it's like a rinse, a giant rinse that's going to rinse away all the scraps, all these little thoughts, all these little tethers of holding on to a little personal self. Or even trying to improve that little personal self. That can be quite a trap to try to make a better self. Most of the world is, is about that, you know, self-improvement, self-help. But even that is part of the pain mechanism, you know, it's still part of the compromise. And we have to start to realize that that's not going to even work. So we don't even have to continue on the wheel of self-improvement. You can see it down at Strawberry here at the festival because you see musicians and artists that are coming up there and they just grab in the microphone, like this morning with Greg, he just hopped up, and Susan, they just hopped up and off they went, and like, it's like a willingness to say, use me. I don't care how it looks, it's not a performance, I'm not going to judge it, evaluate it, I'm just going to get into the river, mm -hmm. and be carried by the river like a little twig. And, and that's how the pain disappears. Not by trying to figure it out, kind of in a specific way, which the ego would have us do, but by getting into our function, and getting so immersed and so absorbed into our function that we actually come into a new selective memory of the present and we let go of any attempt to attach it to the past. That's focus. Yeah. That helped a lot. Thank you. We'll continue. Very good. We Thanks. will continue this.